Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tack Bits, and today <clears throat> we're getting a look at something rrr, so sexy, beautiful, with CAD power, with all the power that it takes to make the ladies' knees weak. Let's take a look. So as you can see, we got an NVIDIA Quadro P520 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cores from the i7 at 1.8 gigahertz so this thing isn't as powerful as it could be but when you take into account also how light it is it's uh it's also a very good thing because i guess some people need extreme portability and extreme power i mean the quattro p600 was available about five years ago for about what was it three four hundred bucks and uh, the laptop's keeping up, but this thing's smaller, it uh, puts out less heat, and all of that fun stuff. So, let's take a look at, uh, let's jump right into a benchmark, actually. Alright, as usual, Passmark Benchmark is the benchmark of choice. I run through this mostly off the camera, but I do like to show the gaming benchmark, so you can see what it looks like, DirectX 910, uh, no, sorry, 10, 11, yeah, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right, we have the flight of the Quattro P520, and it's not going too fast. 14 frames per second, I expected better than that. Now let's check out some of that sweet DirectX 10, 13 frames per second. Once again, I expected a bit better. And here we have 33 frames per second. It definitely is lagging a wee bit. The jellyfish. Okay, here we have direct dex 12, not coming out of hyperspace too nicely. 25 frames per second. While we're here, let's test uh, the glare. I got a camera right up here. Oh, sorry, I got a light, I should say. Okay, so not a bad score, not as great as I thought it would be. This tests out this past mark benchmark. Okay, okay. Um, this is just a little better than a Surface Pro. Uh, interesting. This is just about as fast as a Lenovo i7 with eight gigs or gigabytes of RAM and SSD. A Lenovo i7 230, and about just faster than a Lenovo M71 with an AM12 processor. I thought this thing would be, uh, I thought this thing would be better, faster. It kind of lags, it feels like it lags a little bit, and it feels like, it feels like, uh, well, it definitely feels like it lags, but it definitely tests kind of poorly, too. Then again, I probably shouldn't be busting its chops too much. I mean, it is also a super light system. This may well be the most powerful light system I've ever gotten my hands on. Anyways, let's get into this a little bit more. We got the standard size trackpad, the three button, and then, of course, the red nub finger scanner, speaker system, Dolby Audio. I wonder who actually uh, worries about that with the cute little speakers down here. Um, the screen is smooth but it does feel like it has an acid wash it doesn't feel like uh it picks up fingerprints i don't think it picked up any fingerprints with that at all the unit feels pretty sturdy i get a plasticky feel i don't get the cool to the touch metal feel that other ones would give you there is oh not much flex in the keyboard this feels like metal feels like plasticky metal but it definitely feels like metal. Not much flex. Not much flex. Let's see. Got to make sure it's unplugged. And I'll show you the lid. Acid wash. That's going to come off if you have it around oils for a while, of course. 
Oh, I love those big old Phillips head screws to get onto the inside. That makes me hot. Here on this side, we have power, uh, USB-C type power, of course, USB, HDMI, single headset, micro SD. And I believe that this is miniature, that's miniature network or miniature USB of some sort, honestly, I'm not really sure. And then we have uh, Ethernet, love the Ethernet, the lock place. Place for your card, another USB, so that is two USBs per this unit. And it feels really sturdy, it feels really sturdy, it feels super light. I'm used to the five pound laptops of my past, and this is definitely a super light one that you'll be able to get around with. So the P-Series is not made to be rugged, but it is made to be powerful with CAD, and that's what you get here. I heard that there's an AMD version that you can get, but I heard that AMD isn't quite as good. Anyways, next up, let me take the Phillips head screws out. We'll take a look at the inside and see what makes her tick. Okay, so that was easier to get apart than I thought it would be. Just the uh, Phillips heads and a few snaps. Looks like we got, oh, we only got one place for RAM and it's already taken up. That's an interesting hard piece of plastic there. We got a battery down here. That is a capacity of eight, or sorry, 4380 MAH. We got the, yeah, yeah, so we just got the speakers up here NVMe is there huh either that'd be extra memory or uh, another Wi-Fi card where is the Wi-Fi card in this maybe they made it so small I don't even need to see it but I would have expected the Wi-Fi to be there maybe that's a smaller kind of NVMe but really where is the Wi-Fi I'm not seeing it so you won't be able to run this in dual channel, of course, because there's just one RAM module. I don't like the new fans because of how how easy it would be for dust to get collected in there, I would imagine. And uh, the bigger the better, the less dust will be trapped, in my opinion. Got the BIOS battery in here. Interesting to use one of these types. Got a connector here that goes nowhere. Interesting. What else do we have? What else do we have? I'm just blown away I can't find the Wi-Fi. Maybe it's under the battery. Seriously, though, they usually put it right here. I'm wondering if... So that's got to be the Wi-Fi antenna. Maybe this is the, the Wi-Fi antenna. Yeah, that is the Wi-Fi. What was it? Oh, that's the Wi-Fi! Look how cute! Guys, look how cute! Look how cute! Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Let's see if autofocus will work on this. No, autofocus wants to be a pain for some reason, huh? Sorry about that. Anyways, look how cute. I just can't believe that that's the Wi-Fi. Oh, you've grown up and gotten so small Wi-Fi. I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. That's awesome. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that's it for me. Net from Nest Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if, I, uh, if you like this, if I helped you out at all. And, uh, jeez, you can't really upgrade much in here, can you? Hmm. Yeah, I guess, um, that's all I got. CPU, GPU, I guess. Have a good one, folks. And, of course, as always, take care of each other.